He's arrested and charged with smuggling synthetic marijuana into the Allegheny County Jail, and now a well-known Pittsburgh attorney is in more trouble with the law. Channel 11's Amy Hudak explains. I just got off the phone with Paul Gettleman. He said he was perplexed. This was the first he heard of any sort of summons. He added that he absolutely has no comment. High profile lawyer Paul Gettleman is usually the one defending people accused of crimes, not the one getting his mugshot taken. Gettleman was indicted by a grand jury two weeks ago, accused of smuggling synthetic marijuana, K2, into the Allegheny County Jail. But he also got a surprise summons on Christmas Eve for an alleged hit and run in the parking garage right next to the courthouse. A woman says she was driving behind Gettleman up the ramps of the parking garage on First Avenue. She says he was driving erratically and repeatedly slammed the brakes. He then put his Audi in reverse and slammed into her. According to the court paperwork, Gettleman then exited his Audi, stared directly at her for a brief period, checked his vehicle for damages, then departed up the ramp. The summons comes after a grand jury released their report on Gettleman's felony drug charges. Investigators say they grew suspicious when Gettleman came in the wrong entrance of the Allegheny County Jail with a green folder, then left minutes later. According to the paperwork, when the attorney left, he no longer had the green folder. Video surveillance of the inmate showed him carrying the green folder. Local defense attorney Phil DeLacente talked to Channel 11 about those allegations before Christmas. Everyone was shocked and surprised. Um, it's unfortunate it was a grand jury, which means there was a very thorough investigation. According to investigators, Gettleman charged up to $1,000 to deliver the drugs. Now, with the latest allegation against him, it could be an uphill climb for the now embattled lawyer. It can be devastating to not only a legal career, but also your liberty. So this is a very, very serious set of allegations brought by a grand jury that involved numerous amounts of manpower, uh, victims that were involved. The legal analyst we talked to says the disciplinary board was likely already notified after those drug charges and will possibly be notified of the additional charge now. At the Allegheny County Jail, Amy Hudak, Channel 11 News.